What's bothering you? Gosh, I'm so exhausted. I'm so blank about the seminar topic. Everyone has their own plan. What's your seminar topic? Modules and modernization in software design. the types of software design. Now let's move on to real time example to understand the types in a clear manner. Every day we use Instagram because it's eye catching and attractive which tempts us to open and it's very easy to use. The screen which we are watching in Instagram is called external design. The Instagram should be tested, modified and updated regularly. This type of designing is called a detailed designing. Everyone Instagram feed is different from others. It shows all based on the frequently searched things. Have you ever wondered why it is? Because it is architecture that way is called as the architectural design. Now let's see about modules and modularization. Modules and modularization. First we will see what are modules. A module is a software component that contains one or more modules. At this time, a question would rise on your mind. Are you wondering where the modules is used in real time? Here comes the answer. Autumn is a program created to simulate response to tuberculosis. Since tuberculosis is more or less infectious based on the infected organ, a complex system must be used to analyze the data to appropriately treat tuberculosis. Different modules are for specific purpose where each module is separated to analyze and diagnose to give proper treatment. Modules have saved millions and billions of people. I believe now you got the importance of knowing module. Modules make a programmer's job easy by allowing the programmer to focus on only one area of the functionality of the software application, which makes the software application more efficient. Modules can be removed replaced or upgraded without affecting other components. It should be more clear if we relate modules to a real-time example. So let's see about it. Consider a desktop computer. I say this desktop computer is more modular when compared to laptops. How could it could be? Okay, I will explain. It's because in desktop computers, we can easily remove and upgrade their components or parts. For example, if you want to remove its mouse, we could remove and replace with it a new mouse. But when it comes to laptop, we cannot easily replace or remove any components from this laptop. If we consider a mouse, a mouse has its own functionality. If we consider a speaker, a speaker has its own functionality. So consider a mouse as a module and a speaker as an another module. So, as I said before, a modules are software components, not a hardware components. For real-time example, I use these images. Now, let's see criteria of a modular system. Criteria, does that word sound different? Are nothing but a certain rules and regulation which should satisfy so that it could call itself as a modular system. There are five criteria for a modular system. The first one is modular decomposability. Then modular composability, modular understandability, modular continuity, and the most important thing, modular protection. To know more about criteria of a modular system, watch our next videos.